and today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite bakeries in San Francisco. It's called Le Marais. I think I'm saying it right. Actually, it's pronounced Le Marais. Whoa! <laughs> We're going to try out some amazing foods. I'm going to show you guys how I take photos with just an iPhone and I'm going to show you guys how I edit it afterwards. Alright, you guys ready to check it out? Let's go! What I love about Le Marais at this particular location is that you can pretty much make your own boards, your own bowls, and your own salads. So you can pick five or seven items and they have everything from smoked salmon to bacon, sausages. Listen, do you want to get rid of the sunlight? Uh, that light? No, I actually yeah. really like it. I love the way it's hitting the egg right here. Right, you guys want to see? This is just an iPhone shot, completely unedited, straight out of the camera. This isn't even the newest iPhone, but I love the way that light is hitting that egg. And then I will show you guys how I edit it afterwards. In this amazing photo we've also eaten everything on this table I'm gonna show you guys how I edit this photo on one of my favorite apps it's called a snapseed and all you guys can download it it's totally free and I'm gonna load the photo in the first thing I'm gonna do is go into tools to an image the first setting that comes up is brightness right here. So if you hold down, you can toggle it to the right. You see that blue bar and you can toggle it to the left. So obviously to the right will bring up the brightness. And I like it just about there. The second thing I like to do is go into contrast. I like to add a little bit of contrast, bring it up just a tad. And then I'll go into shadows. See how there's, it's a little bit dark here, 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 and here. So if I push it up to the right, it brings out all those dark little details that we didn't get to see before. But you don't want it too much because then it'll make the image look really, really black. So that looks just about right to me. Then I'll go into the ambiance, which adds just a little punch to all the colors makes everything a little bit more vibrant. That looks pretty good. I'll go into a saturation. Bump that just a tad because you don't want your, um, you don't want the colors to look too green or too yellow or too orange. So at plus eight looks just about right. Now I always like to go into highlights to bring back some of the details that we may have lost from increasing the exposure. So I'm going to bring the highlights down just a tad there. Then go back into brightness and I think I want to bring that up just a tad. Alright, want to see the before and after? Before. See how it's a little bit dark. Can't really see all the details in between here and here. And now when I let go, there it is. Now for the final step, I'll throw this into Facetune, which is another free photo editing app. Most people use this whiten feature to whiten their teeth, but I like to use it to whiten the backgrounds in photos to remove any yellow or bluish tints. This final touch makes the colors of your photos pop way more. See the difference? What you got there, Sin? I got two big boxes of some of my favorite baked goods from... Okay, we're good. <laughs> no accident. But yeah, these are some of my favorite goods. Should I do a giveaway, you guys? Maybe. Yes. Okay, uh, what should it be? Okay, 
comment below and tell me something that you guys loved about the video if you guys learned anything from my photography tips or just let me know what you guys want to see more of next time and i will choose one lucky winner and you will get one of these big old boxes delivered or picked up i don't know one or the other comment below i'll choose one lucky winner thanks for watching guys see you guys next time